One of the most common questions we get asked when people see our office bike generator for the first time is how long does it take to charge a mobile phone on a bike generator? So we thought we'd do a short video to answer that question. So the answer is, it depends, and it depends on the charger that you use to charge the phone and the phone itself. It doesn't depend on the bike generator. So you'll find that the phone takes exactly the same amount of time to charge. If you're using a, a wall charger, it will take exactly the same amount of time to charge as it would if you plugged it into the wall in your house. If you're using a car type charger, it will take exactly the same amount of time to charge as it would in a car. Now the reason for that is a bike generator will put out a constant voltage once it's running, assuming that you've got circuitry on there to regulate the voltage, which you need to have. When you plug something in, it draws an amount of current and that translates as you're pedaling to it makes it harder to pedal. And that effort that goes in is turned into electrical energy by the generator. That's what a pedal generator does. And you'll see every charger has a rating on there. So this charger is a standard charger and it's 5 volts, 1 amp. So 1 amp, that's the maximum current that that charger will put out into the phone. And whether you plug that into a wall in a house, into a bike generator, in, into an inverter in a car, it's going to pull exactly the same amount of current and it will take the same amount of time to charge the phone. This one uh, is a, it's a 1 plus warp charger. Now this one has a variable voltage and a variable current and you can only use it with certain phones, with 1 plus phones, but this will go up to 30 watts. Um, and So this draws more current. So when you plug it into a bike generator it will be harder to pedal than uh, a, a smaller charger or a standard charger. But again, as long as you're pedalling and putting out the current, it will take the same amount of time to charge the phone as it would if you plugged it in the wall in your house. It makes it slightly harder to pedal, but to be honest, 30 watts isn't a lot. Anyone can pedal at 30 watts, so it's not going to be difficult. There's no way really in which you can not pedal enough to only generate a small amount of current. Because what will happen, the charger won't work. If it can't draw the current it needs, it won't work. So these chargers have an auto switch in them to protect the circuitry. So, the other type of charger that we've got on is a car type. So you see this is plugged in down here uh, on our splitter and we've got a couple of different extensions on there. Um, and this is the same, that plugs into a car, so that goes into your power socket in your car, as you can see. And it also has a rating on there. Uh, this is a Qualcomm Quick Charge, so this is also a variable voltage charger. But again, the time it takes is exactly the same as it takes in the car. So if your phone takes an hour to charge in your wall socket, it'll take an hour on a bike generator. What you can't do, if the phone isn't designed to do it, is increase the current to charge it quicker. Because the phone, every phone has a rate um, that it will charge at based on the battery technology in the phone. So you can't charge it quicker by forcing more current into it. It doesn't really work like that. The phone will only draw the amount of current that it needs. In fact, you could connect that with a suitable um, inverter direct to the output from a power station and it will still only draw 3 amps or whatever it is that it takes. It simply won't draw any more. Voltage might be an issue from a power station though. So there you have it. That's the answer. That's how long it takes to charge a mobile phone using a bike generator. So if this is your first time on the channel, thank you for watching. Do check out our other videos. We've got quite a few on the bike generator, how it's built, how it works, why it works, and a demonstration and all that kind of stuff. So the links are in the description below. Do check those out. 
and of course subscribe if you like the content and we're going to bring you more stuff soon we're going to do all sorts of experiments and stuff like that with the bike generator and there's all sorts of other stuff on the channel so do explore that thank you for watching